The SEC is on the lookout for new software to help with the crypto space, and Binance has a very interesting charity project. Let's start the show. Welcome back to Crypto Global News. Please make sure you like, share, and also subscribe. Enjoy today's episode. The Security and Exchange Commission is taking some major steps to give more clarity to blockchain companies. But it is widely believed that the agency has not been properly engaged when it comes to providing regulation. Now, the securities regulator is said to be interested in engaging in an enterprise-wide data subscription for blockchain ledger data. According to the notice on fedbizops.gov, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission intends to produce a commercially available off-the-shelf enterprise-wide data subscription for blockchain ledger data data to support its efforts to monitor risk, improve compliance, and inform commission policy with respect to digital assets. What does this all mean for the future of the relationship between the Securities and Exchange Commission and the world of blockchain? Latin America's largest investment bank, Brazil's Banco Portugal SA, has come out with plans to launch security token offerings, also known as STOs, on the Tezos blockchain. Banco BTG Pactual is planning to work in collaboration with Dubai's Dalma Capital to host a deal pipeline of $1 billion for existing and future prospective token issuances. The plan to make use of the Tezos blockchain for the issuances will include a range of tokenized traditional and alternative investments. The Tim Draper backed project is self-amending blockchain and smart contracts contract platform. With yet another large project between the world of blockchain and banking, how much more growth will there be in this sector in 2019? BrewDog, the Bitcoin-friendly microbrewery, is one of the fastest developing outfits in its industry in the United Kingdom. Now, this outfit is currently soliciting crypto investments. Celebrating the grand occasion, they've created a new beer called Kryptonite. <laughs> according to a video published on their website. As per the same video, the brewery has over 110,000 shareholders at present. You can legally buy shares in the company using cryptocurrency. Is this the future for commerce for this company and many like it? Binance.Charity launched a new project this week with an initial goal of tackling what people call period poverty. Now, this project is quite straightforward. In some countries, feminine care products are very expensive and the people in the country are quite poor. Because of this, in poorer countries, many women are held back by their natural body cycles. According to Binance's paper on the subject, the project should be able to help about one million young women around the world. Philanthropy through cryptocurrency is exciting for all of us. American investor and co-founder of Morgan Creek Digital Assets, Mr. Anthony Pompanalo, also known as Pomp, explained his investing strategy with skepticism towards fiat currency in a recent interview. When asked if he considered putting 50% of his wealth into Bitcoin is a risky move, Pomp said that the risk is relative for every individual. However, he has a clear profile that he wants to undertake. Mr. Pompanalo continued, I would make the argument that having 100% exposure to fiat currencies is a really bad idea, right? Because because if one of those fiat currencies you have 100% of your wealth in either hyperinflates or fails, you've got a lot of problems. Pompanalo did make it clear that there is a need for more diversification, which leaves the question of how much should one divert from fiat currency into a digital currency. Many thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Please make sure you like, share, and also subscribe to the show. For Crypto Global News, I'm Edward. Until next time, you take it easy.